my channel if you are new welcome so today's tutorial is going to be on my version of a back to school look this is not something I honestly expect any student to wake up and do every morning because let me tell you if I was in school I would not be waking up like two hours earlier just to do this but I would do it on the first day of school just to let people know this is the potential I have so don't play games with me you know and that's it after the first day it doesn't matter just focus on what needs to be focused on I wanted to do this look for people who wear glasses who wear contacts who have perfect vision who don't have perfect vision whatever the case is with you guys I wanted this look to be relatable to everybody so I hope you guys enjoy this really fun tutorial quick thing you guys could fast forward if you don't care about the wig but I'm going to answer it here because a lot of people have been asking me about this wig I bought this wig at a beauty supply store here in Orlando it's in the southeast side of Orlando the store is called Abradell you guys can google that I don't know the address so just look it up this wig costed me about $45. It is synthetic, so that's why I typically only wear it for when I'm either filming or I'm taking pictures. I don't wear it outside because um, since it's not real hair, it's not that cute in this humidity and heat. It doesn't look that natural. Um, so I think that basically answers like the basic questions people have been asking me about this wig. And like I said, I got it at a beauty supply store. I don't know the brand. I don't know like the style. I just saw that it was curly and I wanted curly hair, so I bought it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Enough of me talking and let's finally get started guys. First we're going to prime our face. I'm using the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer and I'm just rubbing that all over my face. This primer has a very matte finish to it so if you do suffer from oily skin this is like the perfect primer for you but it works for all skin types. I would just definitely recommend it for people with oily skin as well. Moving on to foundation, I'm using the Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation. I'm applying it to the back of my brush and then I'm just dotting little spots of foundation all over my face. Next, I'm gonna take a damp beauty blender and I'm going to blend all of that foundation out. Next, I'm going to start highlighting my face, but I have two things that I must do before I start, and that is take two drops of my Farsali Rose Gold Elixir, drop that right into my concealer, kind of mix that in together for a more creamy consistency, and then once I'm done with that, I'm going to apply right underneath my eyes, and then the high points of my face. Once that is over and done with, I'm going to take the same exact beauty blender I used to blend out my foundation, but now I'm going to use that to blend out this concealer. I'm also going to apply this concealer um, over my lids as well, just because I'm going to be using this basically as an eye primer. Next, it's time to set this highlighting cream. So I'm going to be going in with my Laura Mercier translucent powder. And as you can see, I'm applying that underneath my eyes as well as on my lid. This is basically what I'm going to be using instead of wearing an eyeshadow on my lid. Once you are done with that, give it a good five minutes at least. And then once those five minutes have come up, then you're going to dust all of this baking powder off. Next, I'm going to set the rest of my face just to absorb any extra shininess and I'm using the Motives Cosmetics Neutral Medium Face Powder. Next, I'm going in with my Japonesque Velvet Touch Face Palette and I'm going to take that lighter shade of brown right there and that's what I'm going to use to contour my face. I'm taking a flat edged brush to contour because I feel personally it just gives me a very natural but still sharp looking contour. 
Then I'm just going to contour my temple area with a fluffier brush. Next, it's time to contour my nose. Then I'm going to take these two shades right here, that more rose color and then the more of a bronze color. I'm going to mix those two blushes together. And that's what I'm going to add to my cheekbones. This is part of the same exact Japonesque palette that I used to contour with. Then I'm going to take this white shade right there. It's actually like a frost. And that's what I'm going to use to highlight. And then next I'm moving on to eyeliner and I'm using the Rimmel London Glam Eyes Liquid Liner. And I'm only creating a wing on the outer corner and that is it. I am not putting any eyeliner on my actual lid. It's only the corner just to give my eyes a more almond shape and to kind of dress up my eyes a little bit since I'm not doing too much to them. Then I'm going to add my mascara and I'm using the Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara. Moving on to lashes, I'm using the Monaco Lashes by Lily Lashes. You can use code VivaGlamK for a discount. Moving on to eyeliner, I'm using the Ben Nye Lights Liner and I'm applying that to my waterline. Now adding some mascara to my bottom lashes. Moving on to brows, I am starting with the Cabral Brow Gel by Benefit in the shade 4. First you want to comb those hairs out. And then I kind of do it a little backwards. I conceal my brows first. Just so I, it's like easier for me to color in my brows. Because I'm just going to go with the natural shape that the concealer creates. It actually prevents me from overdrawing my brows. Just because my concealer is like a guideline for me. Then I'm just going to blend that concealer out with a plain blending brush. Now I'm going to take the Cabral and I am applying it very lightly because honestly any brow gel that you use a little bit does go a long way. Once I'm done with that, I'm going to take precisely my brow pencil. I'm going to brush that out first, make sure the color is even, and then I'm going to color in all the little gaps that I notice once I have brushed my brows out. Next, I'm going to go in with my Japonesque Velvet Touch Eyeshadow Palette, and I'm going to take that very neutral color right there, and I'm applying that to my crease just to get a little bit more definition. Then I'm just going to take the clear brow gel and make sure that these hairs are in place and they don't go anywhere throughout the day. Next, I'm going to take my Rose Gold Elixir again by First Sally. I'm going to rub that all through my lips just so that my lips are very moisturized. And it honestly helps the lip liner just glide right on instead of skipping. The lip liner that I'm going in is the I Really Dig You Lip Liner by The Balm Cosmetics. Then I'm going to go in with my Glam Lip Gloss by Motives. This gloss is everything. It literally has like glitter in it. It's so beautiful. Once I'm done with that, I am going to go in with my Slay All Day Setting Spray by Gerard Cosmetics. Just let that spray set in. And once you guys have done that, you're off and ready to go to school. Thanks for watching, guys.